Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to pick up where we left off last time. Now, in our previous lesson, we were looking at the nature of our stance and structural stability. Today, we're going to look at something called the tipping point, and then we're going to see how we can tie together both lessons and apply the principles that we've learned to some basic takedowns. Now, we're going to start, as we frequently do, with a simple example, and that example, of course, is going to be a box sitting on the ground, sitting on the table, and I come along and I want to tip this box over. And the question at hand is, how much do I have to tilt the box before it will tip? So let's look at some of what's going on here. We, of course, have the uh, gravitational force, the weight of the box that's pulling it down. And the center of mass, we're going to look at a uniform density box. So the center of mass lies in the center. Now, I'm going to try to tilt it. I'm going to try to get it to rotate. So of course, we're looking at a case of rotational motion. I'm going to try to rotate it in this direction. So we have a pivot point, and that pivot point in this scenario is this corner of the box. So now after I tilt it to some degree, we have a situation that looks something like this. And the solution, the answer to our question, how much do I have to tilt it before it tips? It's really quite simple. If I can tilt the box so that I move the center of mass past the line that goes through the pivot point. So if I can move the center of mass past this line, the box will tip. So of course we still have gravity pulling down, which is now helping to rotate and helping to tip the box. Okay, so it's simple concept. Now I have Justin here to help out again. And we're going to quickly review a couple of the uh, key points from our last lesson. Uh, the first is that if I draw a line from leg to leg, if I connect uh, in the last lesson, I took a, a stick and I connected it to both of his heels. So we have a straight line in this direction. If I apply force along that line, this is the line of greatest stability. If I apply force perpendicular to that line, this is the line of least stability. So what we learned last time tells us if I want to take him down, I'm going to apply force in that direction. That's going to allow me to do so with the least amount of effort. What does this concept tell us? Oh, let's think about it for a second. If I start trying to tip Justin in this direction, where's our pivot point? It's going to be essentially the, the left foot. If I try to tip him in the perpendicular direction, where's our pivot point? Well, it's along that line of most stability. So now you should be realizing if I want to move him in this direction to try to tip him, not only does his stance provide him with greatest stability to resist that? But I also have to move his center of mass a greater distance to get him to tip over. Now, if I apply force in this direction, this is the line of least stability. He, he's going to find that very difficult, if not impossible, to resist any force applied in that direction. And not only that, let's have you turn at this angle. Now, here's, again, our, our pivot point, our axis of rotation, He's rotating along a, that line of most stability. So if I tip him backwards, I have to move him a much smaller distance, thereby minimizing my efforts greatly. So let's change sides, and let's just see how this applies in a basic uh, takedown situation. So Justin throws a punch. Now perhaps I'm moving in, and I'm using a ridge hand or a clothesline. We looked at how powerful this strike is in a previous video. And now you know that if I deliver this strike, not only is it tremendously powerful, but it's, that effect is going to be amplified if I deliver the strike in the appropriate direction. And so now I'm delivering perpendicular to that line of greatest stability. That gets him to start tipping. And right now, if I get hit his center of mass essentially past his heels, try to stand up. He can't stand up. So there's your principle. There's your lesson. It's one that is applied very often within our takedown techniques. It's one I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know if you have any questions, and we'll see you soon with another video.